Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen how you doing uh, today I just uh, wanted to upload a video about my new uh, function uh, which is used to solve uh, the root locus uh, theoretically all of us are familiar uh, to this command which will draw the root locus visually but uh, I just use a theoretical approach to solve this uh, root locus and finding each and every parameter of it by using this small code and almost all of the functions are just used from MATLAB Bulletin Library and uh, I will just demonstrate the code in a few minutes first of all let's solve the questions so for here we have uh, GFS HFS is equal to K over S into S plus 1 or S plus 3 so here so I just add the denominator and denominator in this function and see how it finds the parameters like uh, breakaway point and then after that centroids and poles and zero that kind of stuff so we have one over one four three zero so i will just say rollo uh, and it will be added in the form of vector the denominator and denominator will be given in the form of vector so here we have only one and here we have one four three zero one four three zero and hit enter and after that it will calculate each and everything and we will just compare it let's see how oh, it works so here's my answer it, it took a call of time to solve all kind of stuff so here is our real form which is uh, built in and the most amazing thing about this graph is that it would just uh, select a pole and just if we want to find this path how it changes so we can just uh, click on it and we, we can see and how it's working and same as with this pole this was getting here and then uh, moving upward and this pole is going on that uh, direction and it's I think it's an inactive region so that was a visual so let's see about the theoretical uh, which was more important as it programmed it so first of all we have poles and zeros so we have pole zero negative one negative three and the zeros are just empty matrix there is no zero over here and then the centroid is on negative 1.3 where is the centroid uh, here is the centroid which is negative 1.3 and then the value of c is 0 1 2 so the value of c start from 0 and go to 1 and with the help of this we're going to find theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 so here we have 60 180 and 300 so here we have uh, theta 1 is 60, 180 and 300. Now we are just trying to uh, calculate the value of uh, breakaway point. So here, there we go. Here we have a breakaway point. This command will solve things systematically step by step almost. So here, here we have k over s cube plus 4s square plus 3s like this which is equal to 1. And if we solve for k we will get s cube plus 4s square plus 3s like this and after differentiating we will get 3s squared plus 8s plus 3 like just here and now I have two a breakaway point negative uh, 0.4514 and negative 2.21 and now I will uh, find the value of k and omega in the sense that what is the gain and that kind of stuff so here we have a main function s cube plus 4s square plus 3s plus k is equal to 0 as over here as you can see and then this is replaced by s is equal to j omega so where is s is replaced by j omega and then after just solving on the whole we will have two parts one of them is real and second one is imaginary like here we have imaginary part which is equal to minus omega cube plus 3 omega is equal to 0 same like here and the values of omega is 1.7321 and when this value is, is poured in into the value of real part which is here um, minus 4 mega plus k is equal to 0 and a k is equal to 4 mega square and then value of k is 12 as you can see here so sometimes I, sometimes I think it's just, it's just time because if a thing is uh, present visually then there should be no logic or, or argument to solve it theoretically but I just thought why not to model it theoretically so just made this so let's solve another question over here so here uh, here we have one is over here and one two zero zero 
is one two zero zero and now by uh, hitting enter we have almost found all of the parameters so here's my graph and I said this pole is moving downward and one of the poles is moving upward and here is my inactive region I think so let's see the, uh, theoretically uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's start over here from here. So we have pole is equal to zero zero negative two, no zero which is none, and the break of wave point is just uh, negative one point three and zero. So let's see break of point is zero and negative one point three three, and after that uh, we have centroid. So what is the value of centroid? And it is negative zero point six seven as you can see over here, and uh, uh, the values of angles the theta. So here we have angle is 60 and 180. So there you go, 60, 180 and 300. Yes, and now you will find the value of gain, which is k. So here we have k is equal to s cube. And but, but you, you can see everything is solved theoretically. So here we have uh, imaginary part is equal to 0 and the real part is equal to 2. two. A k is equal to uh, 0 and omega is also equal to 0 as you can see over here. So that's it. The code of this is just uh, written by simple using uh, the building command that r locus which is used to plot root locus visually and I am just uh, uh, symbolically decorating k and s as a variable so that I can manipulate it and to f uh, find the roots of a polynomials or equation we just use roots den and roots num. As you can see, and as we know, that denominator is equal to pole and the denominator is equal to zeros. Now, the this command will use to check the vector that is it empty or not. If if it, if it is empty, we will use pole minus poles uh, minus zeros. And uh, if there is no zero, Mela will show an empty matrix which cannot be used in the formula. So I have just manually entered zero and just uh, uh, made a check. Same as if uh, uh, to uh, find the uh, value of theta, you choose to just this uh, for loop, a small for loop. Here, I've just found the value of c and then the starting loop from z zero to c with the increment of one. I can find the thetas. And here is uh, my just a polynomial to symbolic conversion and uh, by denominator in the form of s and denominator in the form of s as well because I want equation in the form of s. And after that, I will just find the, the uh, breakaway point and then so solving the breakaway point with respect to k, or I'm just trying to find the value of k. And same as with the taking the derivative of the breakaway point and uh, putting it is equal to zero and solving it. Then here I'm just trying to find the value of k and omega. And again, he he here I'm declaring omega as a real symbolic and k as a real as well. So wherever the mega is used it will consider it as a real part because here I'm just uh, using a function to detect the real and imaginary uh, equations uh, sorry uh, real and imaginary uh, terms in an equation here I am solving imaginary part with respect to mega and storing it in omega and then mega should be greater than zero and a real part is expanding and same is with the real part and uh, then putting the value of uh, k sorry uh, making a function k and putting the value of omega into it to get the value of k as i've shown in the pic so the code will be available in the download link take care have a nice day